Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I know, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. It's been a long time coming. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing one um, a little colorful look because I know in my previous videos I've been showing you guys how to do more nude looks. But I also want to venture into doing a little more color because I really love color. Color and me, we are besties. Okay, we love each other. So um, thank you so much to Quality Wigs for my amazing wig. I just lay down you know put a little bit of extraness just so it doesn't touch my makeup and yeah also the lip gloss that i'm wearing because i know you guys are gonna ask obviously <laughs> this is the reina lip gloss i don't know if you can see this is the reina beauty lip gloss and it's in the shade queen because i'm a queen and you're a queen we're all queens okay and also the start of the show and the eyeshadow palette that we're gonna be using today is also courtesy of Reina Beauty. How pretty is this? Like I saw this and I wanted to like recreate this whole thing like with the turban and with the like neck piece and the you know makeup. It looks so pretty. So um today's palette of choice is the Reina Beauty African Princess palette. And if you guys have not heard of Reina Beauty, <laughs> where you been? Umekua? Umekua wapi? They actually have a brand new palette and it has one of the most amazing ranges of color that I've actually seen around so i'm really excited to actually get my hands on that but for today <laughs> drum rolls boom okay don't want you guys to see my look on you huh huh oh no you're mirroring there's a there's a chala we don't want that so this is the palette that we're going to be using and i'm going to be concentrating on this particular shade and either this or this because I want it to be a colorful look but also something wearable. I don't want to use like the extremely dark color, but we'll see where it goes. But this one, oh, oh, it's calling my name. So without further ado, I've already done my eyebrows. If you don't know how to do eyebrows, check my video on how to do eyebrows. I'm gonna link it over here. If by the time I finish <laughs> editing this video, I'll know how to do that thing. Joe, I need your help. So I'm gonna link the video on how to slay your eyebrows over here so you can check it out if you have a problem with eyebrows and with that further ado let us get started mm. thing is not working <laughs> looks creative looks anything with color and even nude looks it, it doesn't matter you can always choose to go in with a concealer your concealer color or a lighter concealer color if you're feeling adventurous but for this particular look because I want to I want the colors to really pop because you've seen we have a lot of colors over there I'm gonna be going in with this this is the NYX jumbo pencil and it's in the shade milk so basically what it is it's an eyeshadow primer and basically you see like for example the way on your face before you put you on your foundation what do you do you put on your moisturizer your spf blah 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 blah, and your primer primer yes yes so the purpose of the primer is to make sure that each and every layer that you put on top of your skin sits well and not just sits well but it is um blends in nicely with each layer so for example you put on your primer and then your foundation and then your concealer and then your contour and all of that so in the same way before we put on our eyeshadow because we want it to pop ooh, we're gonna put on this so initially it might look a little intimidating to you if you've never used it because it's really really white <laughs> but the whiter the better if you don't have this or if you can't get your hands on this it's okay you can always go in with a lighter concealer but the reason i really recommend this is because it really makes your colors pop and you go and see okay so i'm gonna stop talking and then just do it and then you guys will see okay also my thing is not working i don't know why it's not working like what is your purpose in life hmm? i don't know Okay, before we go back to the talk room, I want to let you guys know when you're using um, an eyeshadow primer that is really, really light, 
you see for example with this blend I've, I've placed it right here on my on my eyelid and I've not extended it up and the reason is because um, some people do prefer to extend it all the way up but I just like to focus it on the area that I am applying the eyeshadow so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my my brush this is the same brush that I use for my concealer and then what I'm going to do the first thing is I'm not going to blend inside here because when I blend inside here it's gonna pick up the product and then when I come to blend over here guess what guess what it's gonna transfer the product and I don't want that okay you don't want that we don't want that the nations of the world don't want that, okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in with the, the, the tip of your brush and blend out the edge okay this a little edge first on the outside before you go back inside because if you go inside first it's gonna pick up product and it's gonna spread it to your whole eyelid so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come and then blend out this cut edge okay and then now later after my edge is blended and then I'll go in and blend in the top part you feel me you feel me you feel me okay okay I know you feel me <laughs> Okay, so I finished packing on my color. It's in the shade Sauda from the African Princess Palette by Mina Beauty. So I wanted to show you three techniques that you can use to blend your matte eyeshadow. So the first technique is the normal one, the one that we know, the back and forth, this, okay, this. And then the second one is round and round, like this. As you can see, I'm always using my pinky finger to just support my hand just so it can i can remain in the same place that i want so you can do round and round and then the third one that i wanted to show you guys is the dabbing you see even though i don't look like i'm doing much the more i dab into this the more i'm diffusing the color so um according to whatever look that you're going for or whatever blend that you're going for you can alternate to either use the round and round the back and forth or the dabbing i just wanted to let you guys know that <laughs> So I'm just gonna blend this. I'm gonna use a little bit of the same color, tap away the excess, and then just position my pinky finger there, and then just use round and round motions. If you have hooded eyes like me, it always helps to, you know, raise them up a little bit. It will give you a little more space to work with, and then just blend, blend, and blend. guys i feel like this camera i it's not really picking up the awesomeness <laughs> that is in this eyeshadow like if i tilt can you see that little it's like pinkish and then when i tilt it's like greenish it's like i don't know what what color that is it's so pretty look at that look at that hey look hey 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 So for foundation, I'm going in with Divas Cosmetics um, Flawless Fix Foundation. This is in the shade Bronze Fall. It's beautiful. If you're into um, uh, a dewy, luminous, glowy looking foundation, I really recommend it. And I'm just going with a slightly tapered flat brush. I would go in with a white dome brush, but it's dirty, so we're going to use this. Um, I, I did two pumps of this. So let's go in.
another tip um, for you guys if you want sheer sheer coverage you just swipe that will make sure that a lot of product doesn't settle as you can see see this side I've done a, um, a swiping so if you want like that very natural coverage just swipe if you want a full coverage press it in okay press it in it will make sure that the product stays there and it gives you maximum coverage as opposed to just swiping which basically means just giving it a light layer but very natural very light so whatever method you're going for the technique really matters so if you want sheer swipe if you want full press next i'm going in with my beauty blender and then just making sure that there are no brush streaks Ooh, brush streaks brush streaks and that everything is flawless let me just come near so that you guys can really see the coverage and you can see like that um what's it called um what's it called like i that reflection on my skin that's something that i really love about this foundation but if you're not into something like that if you're into more matte you know no reflection very oil blotting coverage yeah this is definitely maybe not for you but i think it's an amazing foundation to have and as always don't forget to bend your neck could be like in a in an opera Right? Right? Man, dreams.